Good morning, everyone. It's an honor for me to be here as an host. But before I start our meeting today, let me read the arrangements of our today's program. The first is opening. And then number two is welcome speech by Meta DIE and delivered by Mr. Didi. And the third is motivational speech by our a great teacher, mentor, or and others. Uh, Mr. Subandrio. Okay. The fourth is bring out the room session by me, of course. And then a fifth main session and feedbacks from native speakers. And then the sixth, two feedbacks from selected teachers. Maybe I will select it. Yeah. Anyone? Yes. Number seven is for the session. And the last one is closing. So just go to the number two. Welcome speech by Meta DIE delivered by Mr. Didi. Padidi, time is yours. The screen is yours too. Okay. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for the time given to me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Morning, my English teachers. Thank you so much, and I'm so happy today. Uh, we meet again in this class, and I hope you are enjoying the class. Even you have a lot of activity at your school, you have to teach your student, you have to manage your house, but I think it will be great for us to have this meeting. I'm a teacher. I refer my past and present students as my kids. Uh, the second is, I'm a teacher. I'm not in it for the income. I'm in it for the outcome, for the outcome. Well, this is yes or no, because as teachers, you all are making money too. So maybe you need to start finding a second job or third job. Uh, I feel this this way now. I have done with my life. You know, I'm I'm done. My kids grown up. They have their own family. Uh, I have enough to live. Not not too many ac access, but I have enough to live. So I uh, devote myself to be a teacher, and hopefully I can. Uh, bless the lives of young people and uh, hopefully all of us is uh, aiming toward these three roles as a teacher thank you so much and hopefully we have a good time this time for our english program bye bye thank you okay thank you pak jo hello sir pak todd sible can you give us a feedback to our meeting today how about your class how about your student well, our um, class was very, very good, but we didn't get to finish. Um, and I feel bad about it because I wish we could have gotten through the whole story. But we spent some time not only trying to make sure that we could pronounce the words correctly, but we talked about what the words mean. Some of these words are pretty difficult words for even me to explain. and. Um, but we talked about the words. Everybody in our class got to at least read one time out for the class. But um, we I had an excellent class. I just wish we had a little more time. We may have to figure out a way to start a little bit faster and then make sure that we're finished before our, we, we get knocked out of the room. But um, again, uh, the five students I had, they were all excellent. And um, I to tell them, I don't know why I'm teaching. They could be teaching these classes. They're, do, they're very, doing a very, very good job. There were some difficult words, sure. Um, a couple of the words that were different were dogged or dogged. And um, let's see, da, 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 da. and stammered, stammered. So we talked about stammered and we talked about being on another planet, being on another planet. So those were some things that we discussed. And then we talked about some other homophones and I had the students try to come up with other homophones and some of them were can and can, uh, feet and feet because feet was used in this. So we talked about the difference between feet cocky and feet as in an accomplishment. And then B and B, B-E and B-E-E. -E. 
so we talked about several of those uh, it was a good discussion and the student the teachers i guess they're the teachers i'm more of the student but all of them are doing really wonderfully with uh, their pronunciation and we don't have to correct a lot of things but a few things like um d's on the end and that sort of thing uh so, but everyone is doing really well and i'm really proud of these teachers and the hard work that they're doing and uh it was it was a fun fun lesson so thank you everyone is is working hard and doing well we took a little longer to explain words to talk about usage and pronunciation so we weren't we did not finish the story but i think we had a very educational class anyway our class is really good it's very Wait. good i made a mistake oh. wow. i made a mistake doing our class why because why why when when danny was reading about the boy who had a had his grandmother had a hole in her head i started to laugh and danny thought i was laughing at her but i was really laughing at the story so i had to <laughs> apologize to danny for laughing when she was reading <laughs> But yeah, it was funny. Your pronunciation was great, but I was just laughing at the story. But uh, we had some very good expressions there. It was, we had a nice discussion and a teacher uh, shared with us in her class. She has a student who has uh, learning disabilities and we talked about that a little bit. So it was, it was a good lesson. I hope that the students will practice if they want to send me examples of those vocabulary words, if they want to write sentences to me. I hope they will do that and I will give them some feedback if they want to. Our, my class did very well. I had a couple of repeat students with Paxapto and Budeta. And we had a discussion about uh, homophones as well. One of the homophones that we uh, encountered uh, would be the word bathed and bath. Wow. just in the way it's used so we gave them some examples there I want to share another example with you I'm going to share my screen and this is one that I shared with them can you see my grandson yeah my grandson looks just like you and me but my grandson has a learning disability he is autistic so sometimes he does not vocalize his words. And maybe he would be one that would say, ooh, 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 she has a hole in her head. And so we like to hear when he speaks, he looks just like you and me, but he has a learning disability and it's called being autistic. So I will stop sharing and that will be the end of my creative class discussion. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we had lots of really good readers. Um, we got through our story really fast. Um, we uh, we discovered words like feet and how it's different from like your foot, like cocky, um, but like how it more like accomplishment in this sense. And we also talked more about onomatopoeias, um, which I discussed with my class about two weeks ago. We talked about onomatopoeias a little bit, but we got to talk about it a little more today. Um, and I actually had an idea, well, not really an idea, but a thought. Um, and I was just wondering if you guys have notebooks that you take notes of these words that we discuss every week, like when we learn a new word and what it means. Do you guys like yeah, write yeah, that yeah. down? We, we, we take a note and then we okay. just write it. All right, because I was like, I was thinking, I was like, you know, if I were in this class and I was not taking notes, I would just be forgetting all of this. So yeah. I just wanted to make sure that everyone's taking notes. I should probably have checked that before, but like, um, yeah, because I, I, I think that there are a few things discussed today that would be really useful to have written down to reference to later on. Um, Daniel, in fact, like in fact, we asked, we asked, 
all the teachers to write a sentence of the new words they learn in the class and send to the teachers so that they can review, the teachers can review and give feedback to the students. I hope they are doing okay. it. Uh, yeah, that's one is from every meeting, right, Pajo? I think that we have to write the sentence with that, the new word that we got from the meeting. Thank you, Pajo, for remembering that, that one. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, teachers. I remember. Teachers, you need to do your homework or yeah, otherwise yeah, yeah, yeah. demand your students to do your yeah. homework. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, Pajo. Okay, Pajo. Okay, okay. Already. And then don't forget for another teacher, yes? Your homework that you have to write a sentence and then send it to the teacher in your class. Okay, thank you. First of all, thank you for Pak John um, who taught us uh, in the class. I'm very enjoy and then it's very fun and much more knowledge for me especially. And um, we haven't finished our talk and I still want to discuss more and uh, I want to know more more and more about uh, that story because it doesn't finish. <laughs> oh, you can I ask think you can job. finish it on your own and oh. then finish it on your own and yeah. if you would like you can communicate with me. You can send me sentences with words with new words that you've learned, or you can just, we can just uh, go back and forth about the story if you would like, which would be good English practice. And I would be happy to do that with you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pajo. Wow, I think Buriski Mintari is yeah, very just, happy now. Because I've had Ibu Riski in my class three or four times now, I've just been able to see so much progress in her. <laughs> I've been oh. able to see her learning quickly and I'm just I'm very pleased about it. Thank okay. you. You are, you are so okay, kind. Buriski, uh, Buriski, you can you can share your was that the your finished work with Pak John, right? So you can directly communicate with Pak John. Yep. Okay, thank you Buriski. You did a great job. Yeah. And then I think we have Bu uh, Harisna PBI Unu Jogja, right? Hello, Ibu Nana. Can you give us a feedback? I think you. Uh, this is your first time joining in our uh, our meeting like this, or or the second time or third time like that. Oh no. Um, it's for about my four times. Yeah, Pak Didi. <laughs> I forget. Um, yeah, but I rarely join to this meeting because I have another agenda in my previous time but I'm really happy I can join with you again here uh, meeting with Pak Daniel class Mas Daniel ya <laughs> the youngest teacher <laughs> um, I'm really happy joining with you and uh, from the beginning of the meeting that I had in the in a previous time I really um, see that you have a good what is it, improvement yeah, in your English and it is good for our students in learning English. Thank you so much for your participation and um, related to Punana situation, I think we have conducted uh, our student corner and the program was launched last week and it will be probably conducted um, every month later and we'll inform you later about the information. All right, everyone, before we close the class, would you like to turn on the camera? and I'll take photo together with you. Thank you. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have two slides for today's class and would you like to give your best smile? <laughs> yeah, for the first slide, uh, let me count. One, two, three. Okay, everybody, before we close, I will say thank you so much for your participation in the class. Thank you all of you. Thank you so much. So you can leave the Have meeting. Have a good day. See you in the next meeting. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.